Let's take a look in this clip at how to fill out forms that have a variety of data fields and controls in them. It's a good way to experience the flexibility that we'll be building into the forms we create in other clips. Here from the Getting Started window, we'll click to open a form that's saved on our computer. Let's select the Q2 Conference Travel Expense form and click Open. As with electronic forms we've all had to fill out at one time or another, we have standard text boxes that we'll use to type in some of the information needed. The start and end date fields, though, will be completed for us as we enter our expenses down below. Having completed more of the form, we come to a field with a red asterisk, which indicates that it's a required field. In this case, the email address of our manager who will receive the completed form. Now for our expenses. We'll click the calendar icon in the date field and choose the date of an expense. Add our description and choose a category from the drop down. Now we'll enter the amount of the expense. And in this case, to enter additional details about the expense, we'll click the double arrows to the right of the cost. Our form expands to show the item's details, where we'll add a note to clarify the expense. We also had a business lunch on our trip, so we'll click here to add another expense. We're able to add as many as we need in this way because this portion of our form uses what's called a repeating table. Once we've entered the cost, click anywhere outside the cell and notice the subtotal and total are calculated for us. Down a bit further, we see an option to insert additional notes into the report. We'll click it and enter a note about our expenses. And here we have an option to sign the form before we submit it. We'll go over using digital signatures in another clip. So here we'll simply click the option, enter our name, and click Sign to complete the signature. Let's scroll back to the top, where the dates of our expenses have automatically provided our report's start and end dates. And at this point, we can click the Submit button at the bottom of the form or right here on the standard toolbar. Here, we'll click Send and our form will be sent from Outlook. And we're told the submission was successful. All that's left is to save a copy of the form on our computer. So we'll click the Save icon on the toolbar. We'll change the default form name whose number changes each time we use this expense report template to something more appropriate. And we'll click Save. Our expense report is complete, and we've learned to use a number of the fields and controls that we'll be building into our own forms using InfoPath 2007.